What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel where we do consistent Bible reading every day. My name is Patricia Wambui Muturi or you can call me Joy Blessing. Today we are going to look at Genesis chapter 18 and this is a chapter that is that talks uh, that talks about Abraham and the angels that God had sent. Like they just came they came as men, like men. And we find that Abraham is quickened in his heart to stop these strangers that come through that come to his compound and akiwa serve and akuja ku realize by the these people wanaza kuambia god has this and this plans nini you're going at a next year at a time like this you're going to have a child and we see that these things that these strangers talk about it really does come to pass and today i'd like to encourage us about doing good to people whom we don't even know the word of god says that let us not forget to show hospitality to everyone because some of us have done that and have served or let me say entertained angels without knowing some of us have just served people thinking like oh let me just help this stranger this is an angel and their reward comes like that and god is like I came and you helped me. I came and you did this and this and this to me. And you're like, God, when did you come? But this is how God comes and visits our life. Sometimes God does not come like in that big voice and everything. Just comes like that person you think whom saying is stranger. And who may this person is sent to you from God. And so you see that uh, when Abraham sees these people, and they say, Mawa pikiwe, and then 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 and these people start telling him what even they are going to do in Sodom and Gomorrah, these angels. And Abraham becomes concerned and anamoniza, anamoniza God that what if there are 50 righteous people in, in Sodom and Gomorrah? Will you destroy them together with the righteous people? And God says no. Even if there are 10, even if there are like Atakama ni nabakidogo aje ya people when you are righteous in that place, God promises that he is not going to destroy that land. So today, I don't know whether in the place that you're living in, you feel as if you're the only person also that is like born again, like, you know, and you're like, you're feeling alone and everything. I want you to, I want to tell you today that God is with you and God is going to encourage you. God is going to be there for you. And just because of you, God is going to, and God is going to save you and not destroy a city. And even if he comes to destroy that city, he's going to save you that you may not burn with the wicked because God is a just God and he, he always does justice yeah so share with me what you think about genesis chapter 18 and god is going to surely bless you i love you so much and have a wonderful time i love you big bye